Success in the New Retirement with Damon Roberts and Matt Deaton. And this is the Success in the New Retirement podcast with Damon Roberts and Matt Deaton. My name is Mark Owens, and it's all powered by Acute Wealth Advisors. All the information, you can find it at successinthenewretirement.com. You know, early on, thinking back to your younger days, most of us did our own taxes with the help from mom and dad. Then we got a little bit older, hired a professional, but now we've maybe hit another point in our life where we need a little tax strategy. I want you to hear this clip from IRA expert Ed Slot. He told The Motley Fool that that's especially true for couples. With most married couples, one of them will die first. So let's say the husband dies first. The wife inherits everything he had. So now she has roughly the same income they had together, except now her rate goes through the roof. Now she's in a much higher bracket because she's filing at single rates. Most people don't look beyond that. So you have to look to the end of when this money will actually be taxed. Okay, so talk to me about some strategies that can help in a situation like that. Well, that's a perfect example of just how things change as you head into retirement and some of these life changes that occur. I just met with a client. It was our second appointment. They had called in from the radio and they had wanted to get one of those portfolio analysis done that that Damon was just talking about. They wanted to understand, man, our our accounts don't feel like they're growing as fast enough. We feel like we're paying too much in fees or have too much risk or not as good a return. We ran the reports. We found a bunch of issues. But as we were chatting and we were talking through this, we found a great opportunity to improve their taxes as well. And so... I'll come in to give you an example of what they're doing. So both of them are currently working and between the two of them, they make like $250,000. And so he said, you know, I feel like I don't have any money in Roth accounts that all this money is tax deferred. You know, what should I be doing? Should I start contributing to a Roth? And we ran the numbers and included with that portfolio analysis, we ran a tax report for them. And I said, look, right now you guys are, are nestled in that 22, 24% tax bracket. There's not much you can do about it. We want to take that deduction. And so I said, you've got to continue to contribute to that 401k. Try to max that out as much as you can and get that deduction for now. But he said, well, what about the future? What about retirement? I feel like, you know, taxes are going to be going up. He, he was worried about the national debt. He's worried about some of the economic policies that are going on. And he's like, taxes are going to be higher. And I said, okay, I agree. Mm-hmm. I, there, there is no doubt taxes are going to be higher. Even if you're making less in retirement, it's possible you could be paying, you know, 20, 25, 30 percent. If you just even go back even 20 years ago, that's what we used to pay. And so I said, but let me just run through a couple of scenarios. I said, based on your guys's budget, you guys need one hundred thousand dollars a year to live. That's what that's kind of what you've gotten used to. That's what you want in retirement. And so I said, look, we have some opportunities that if you guys retire two years from now, which is when you think you are then we have some opportunities. You don't have to trigger that pension. You don't have to trigger that social security right away. We have some options of that. And he said, well, what do you mean? He says, well, that's always been our plan. I said, look, if you retire, all of a sudden your income goes to zero and you've never been in that low. And so if we said, hey, let's take the 50 or $100,000 that you need to fund retirement, let's take that from that IRA account. Well, you were just saving into that 401k or that IRA and saving 22 to 24 percent. Well, if we take out, you know, 80, $100,000 from that account in the current tax rates, our client would still only be in that 10 to 12 percent. In fact, their effective tax rate would only be 7 percent. They would only give Uncle Sam 7 percent of that money. Mm-hmm. And so if they were saving that and save 24%, that same $100,000, they saved like $24,000 when they put it into that account. And when we took it out, we only gave Uncle Sam seven grand. Now that's a huge, you know, that's a bunch of money. That's $17,000 in tax savings that are back in their pocket to fund retirement needs. And all it was, was kind of being strategic. And so what I told him is I said, we could do that for three or four or five years. And then what the benefit would be is, now your social security benefit when you finally turn it on is going to be higher. Now mm-hmm. your pension's going to be higher. All of these income sources are going to be that much larger. Meanwhile, we had a tax strategy in place to be able to reduce how much they're giving to Uncle Sam. And he sat back and he's like, wow, no one has ever talked to me about that. Every mm-hmm. time I went into my financial advisor, all we talked about was what returns, what kind of investments. And I said, well, that's the difference. We're trying to build an actual financial plan. And that financial plan is exactly what our our website says, is our goal is try to grow, protect, and reduce taxes on wealth. We wanna grow your wealth, 
We want to protect it. We want to make sure it's not going to be lost. But the number one thing that right now with the way the taxes are, there's a huge opportunity with reducing taxes on your wealth. And again, if you could save five, 10, 15% in what you're giving to Uncle Sam, that is the equivalent of a five, 10, 15% return in addition to what your investments are generating for you. Mm -hmm. And there's not a single person that's going to walk by and say, I don't want my accounts to grow by an extra 10%, you know? And so it comes down to what are you doing to be truly strategic with your entire financial plan? And so for this client, we're starting to put that in place. And so he now has a roadmap of how he is going to replace his paycheck over the next five, six, seven years. We will be able to make adjustments if things change with the tax laws, if there's a smarter thing to be doing four years from now, three years from now, we'll execute those changes inside of his financial plan. But he now has a strategy that hopefully is going to save him five, 10, 15% in what he's given Uncle Sam. And so it's this comprehensive approach to building a plan that really generates wealth. It really makes your money work as hard as possible for you. You know, Mark, talking about taxes, kind of taking a a different look at things, you know, Matt was just talking about a a couple who has high income and have been in high tax brackets and deferring tax and what they can do once they retire. You know, we also have a, a lot of clients that I met with one this last week, they came in and they had about $1.5 million in rental properties. And they just retired and they came from, they've been at a 24% tax bracket. You know, a few years ago, it was a 28% tax bracket and they've been there for the last 20 some odd years. And as we were looking at their portfolio and looking at efficiency, you know, a lot of these rental properties that they bought were only giving a return as we just look at the rent Mm -hmm. of about 3%. And so they weren't getting a lot out of that, but their equity had increased dramatically because right now we're sitting in this real estate market that's going crazy. And I looked at them and I said, you know, now that you've retired, if you start to divest a little bit, some of these rental properties, you're in a tax bracket that right now, some of that, what normally would be a capital gain won't be capital gain at all because you're in a 12% tax bracket and based on the current laws and some of it will, but it will only be at 15%. And we had that conversation about taxes going up and likely that the capital gains rates are, are, are one of the first likely to go up and how they could start to get, you know, capture this huge increase on their rental properties uh, in the last year. It's like, you know, owning a stock that's all of a sudden hit a peak. Well, that's when you want to sell. Right. And, and they were able to do that and then put some of these dollars to work somewhere else, getting a better rate of return going forwards, but also having been tax efficient in that strategy. And so there's probably a lot of people out there that are sitting on properties that have have gone up quite a bit. And it may be a really good time to look at, should I capture some of that growth and be able to do it in a tax efficient way? Because there are, are great opportunities still this year to do that, that may not be around next year or in the, in the next few years. And so, you know, tax efficiency, no matter what your portfolio looks like, if 80% or more of your money's in IRAs and 401ks, yes, there are opportunities right now to become tax efficient and to plan for the future. If a lot of it is in rental properties. There are great options right now to, you know, no matter what your circumstances are, there are options to become tax efficient and you want to be proactive about that so that you have more options down the road rather than, you know, just sitting on things. And then when you get there, you have no choices. And it's always better to have choices than to be proactive about all of your retirement strategies. Thanks for listening. Want more from Damon and Matt? Check out successinthenewretirement.com. And while you're there, drop us an email with your questions. Investment advisory services offered through Acute Investment Advisory, LLC, a registered investment advisor. Insurance and annuities offered through its affiliated company, Acute Wealth Advisors, LLC. Tax and or legal advice is not offered by either company or their affiliated companies. Consult with your tax and legal professionals for guidance on tax or legal matters. The information presented should not be viewed as personalized investment advice. All expressions of opinion are subject to change. We are not affiliated with nor endorsed by the Social Security Administration or any other government agency.